Hi, good afternoon. We're going to talk about the anatomy of the arterial waveform. The waveform that we see in spectral Doppler are a result of cardiac pulsations. It is good to visualize the arterial waveform as pressure transmitted from the heart. Now, just a quick painless run-through on the blood flow. Because we want to trace the flow of blood through the aorta, let's now focus first on the left side of the heart. The atrium fills with blood. The ventricle then fills with blood. Then the ventricle pumps the blood. Then blood is pumped into the aorta. Imagine an elastic tube with fluid inside. If you press it on one side, there will be fluid movement from that area of increased pressure to an area of less pressure. This is what happens within a vessel. So for blood to flow from one point to another, there should be differences in pressure. Here we see it as P1 and P2. This flow is represented as Q. We see here that for flow to occur, there must be pressure gradients or differences between P1 and P2. You can also see here that the flow, flow here is inversely related to resistance. So if you increase the resistance, you will get less flow. Same thing with the ventricle. Now let's look here at the left side of the heart. When the ventricle contracts, it ejects the blood into the systemic circulation. This additional volume pushed into the blood vessels would create this pressure gradient. This pressure gradient between the heart and the arteries would create flow. This concept is essential to understand the creation of waveforms that we will see in the next section.